Hi guys, welcome to the Solo Nightfall Guide. This is going to be my run of the Paramedium. I'm going to be doing it on the Void Walker. We're using the DFA, the Telesto, and Tarant Tarantula. The, obviously, the Tarantula is Void, Telesto is Void. I'm using Void Walker, so I'm using Void Singe, Heavy Weight, and Momentum. And we're using the Skull of Dire Ahamkara simply to try out, see how it works with uh, its recent buff giving you super energy back. I'm using Scatter Grenade and Slova. Uh, and I, I, I'm not really a big fan of the Warlock, but I must admit, I loved this. This was a, this was such a good run. I really enjoyed it. It might not be the most efficient run that I've ever done, but it's got to be one of the most enjoyable simply because I don't run Warlock. I've been very critical of the Warlock in the past, and this is the first time I've actually ran the Warlock where I've thought to myself, yep, yeah, I, could, I could use that. I, I, I could start using that. Scout grenades are, OP is a strong word, but they they are very powerful. Now, I, I think they just got buffed. I was told a, a long time ago that they actually were quite good, but I wasn't really a fan of the Warlock, so I, I didn't really use them. So, a bit about this section. Every time, when you come in, you've got four, four elite goblins. When you access the first plate, you will get two goblins right, two goblins left, and either a harpy left and right or a sniper left and right up on the, the raised platform, the, the raised tower bit. That bit where you can see me shooting him, that is where they come. You either get two snipers or two goblins. That's for the first plate. The second plate, you get two elite goblins right, two elite goblins left. And then you get the wave of ads that comes from the bottom of the slope. And you'll either have, you'll have two ultras, either two minotaurs or you'll have two, two, uh, two minotaurs or two harpies. Now, if you're in a fire team, if you, if you do both pillars at the same time, you won't get double sets of ads. You'll skip a set. So you'll only deal with a set of ads left and right. Now, because I was testing out a character I don't normally use with weapons, I don't normally use. I just I just went for the the bog standard. Uh, do you know just wipe out a section and then move on. So this where I'm going now. This is your safe haven, so you can go here and you'll be fine. As you can see, the Minotaurs don't like when you've got it void. Telesto's very underrated, I think, and. And when I say very underrated, I mean by me. <laughs> There's probably tons of people that haven't underrated it, but I have. And the tarantula, I I I hope I hope this really gets some some love, uh, because it's 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 a very very good linear fusion rifle. And as you can see with the new weapon economy, if you change, if you keep changing, if if you use your heavy for everything or your special for everything or your primary, why would you use your primary for everything? I don't know, but. If you use those things, you won't drop the the different wep the different ammo ammo boxes. You have to keep switching around. So if you're always using energy, chances are you aren't going to drop a lot of energy. But if you switch from energy to heavy, which you will do now, because you you know this is the thing. For the first couple of month, for the first couple of month, for the first eleven month and three weeks of Destiny, we have been running two primaries. Now that we're getting uh, the weapon changes and a lot of change weapons are going into the special slots. It is going to feel for a lot of us like we are running two heavies. So it is going to be, you know, I had to hold back a couple of times with the, uh, when I was doing the true probabilities, I had to hold back with the shotgun because it doesn't get the same buff in a nightfall as it used to. So you're not going to cream enemies with it. You will still do a lot of damage, n no denying, but you're not you're not going to have heavyweight. So it was, you know, I read somebody saying on Twitter that even though they've not added any content, it feels so different, and that's what happens when you when you shape things, you know, you shake things around and freshen them up. And it does, it really. I think I've said it. I think I said it in the true probability stretch. It really dictates the the gameplay at times if you un if you don't keep it keep it under control. It can make you, it can push you into areas you don't really want to be in. Because, you know, you get sucked in by the knowledge that you've got this, this shotgun or, you know, whatever you might be running. 
So stick to a plan, which is what I'm going to try and give you for this. So as you could see, I took everything there from the platform above. So I, every time I took stuff out, I would, I would move down to the next platform and then push on to this next area. Now this next area, there's a number of ways to do it. So basically you get, it seems like, it seemed like today a never ending procession of goblins. You start off with those three, there are three elite harpies and the tarantula, even though they're void, even though tarantula's void, uh, because we've got heavyweight on, it's two shots, it's a two, two shot thing. And as you can see, I'm like, in the video, you might see it in a few a few times where I'm, I'm switch, switch and then switch because I'm kind of unsure what I'm using because it was very, very, you know, very, I was very, very early on into, into the weapon changes that I was doing this. So I haven't gave myself, a, a, you know, a long time to really, you know, to really have a go at, 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 you know, learn the different weapon slots and get used to what I've got and what weapon slot. But one thing I did notice, the better devils is not better. <laughs> it's not a better devil. And that, that that's fine. Like other changes that we've experienced, we have, we've had this, I've had this hand cannon doing the business for me for a long time. And it's only right that, that now I should have to mix, mix and match and do, you know learn to use something else. And there are other things. I mean, the DFA, my problem with the DFA beforehand was I felt like it was really kind of, it rather rather than hit enemies, I felt as if it almost slapped them. It might have been just the sound that the weapon made or, you know, it just never seemed to have that power. But after using it today, it feels like, I'm not saying it's been buffed or... Maybe because the, maybe it really is just the fact that the, the better devils felt so, so poor that now that, you know, the, the, the DFA and maybe even, because I didn't like the midnight coup either. I didn't like that. And for anybody that's, that's a, it, it's a silent P, it is coup. Coup is like a, when you take over, so when you, when you have a, like a mutiny and, you know, it's kind of that same thing, which is the story, the Leviathan. And I'm going to add this in as well. Please do yourselves a favor. Any of you guys that are still calling these things, I hope nobody is, but anybody that's still calling these things the lunifications, you, you, you okay. It just really annoys me that it's not the lunifications, okay? It's the factions. I still hear people say that. Anyway, so yeah. I'm still messing about with it. Still a lot of a lot work to do, but I was, as you can see, the Slova, I mean, see how much super energy I got back there, yeah? I got that much super energy. Now, some people might be saying, ah, oh, I've heard it's like, it's like the, it's like the Orpheus rig. It is. It's very, it, it, and it's, it's not, it, it's not, but in its production of super energy, it is. But, to utilize it properly. Now I nearly got my super back and they were just normal red bar. Make sure there's a yellow bar or an or an elite. An elite or a... If you make sure there's either an elite or an ultra. Now, if it's an ultra, unless it's a nightfall, you... You really... You really have to make sure that you put a lot of damage on them first. Uh, but if it's just if it's just an an elite, which is the orange bars, if you take down an elite with w within you know this is an elite and this is just normals, it'll give you it gives you more super energy for elites. I actually done it earlier, and it's the the skull of Dire Ahamkara that that actually gives you it. Uh, the, I done it earlier, and I'm not kidding you, it was it was on the pyramidium. And it was, it was the the taken version. So when you're coming down those platforms, as soon as you've cleared the first area and you drive down and you kill those couple of vex, and you've got four platforms to get to the bottom. When you get to the bottom of the taken version, there's there's an there's an elite uh, minotaur and thrall. I threw a nova bomb at them and got got it straight back because of that elite. So it's, it's it is a really cool thing now. 
Now we're at this section, I'm going to explain something. I I don't mess up here. I was just wanting to do something different. But to explain the way this way works, right? So as you can see, I've thrown my Nova just, just before that. And, and I didn't get the kills I was hoping to get with it. And that's probably because of teleporting Minotaurs. But the way this way this works out is you clear this room, then you go, do, don't access any any of the, 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 the plates. Now I've done this plate first because I just wanted to do it differently. The actual way to do this is to access the plate I'm facing, the very back plate. And as soon as that access, as soon as that, that's done, go to the plate to my right. So this is the, pl the plate I'm on now is the plate that you access first. Then you go and access the plate down to the left. And then you come over to this plate. The reason why you do it in that order is, as you can see, I've now got a heap of enemies. And I kind of was just wanting to show off, you know, the the, the, the tarantula and, and what it can do, especially in this nightfall. As you can see, it just decimates. It is, the thing I love about it is it's high impact. It's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's like a sniper fusion rifle. It is very high impact. And... It's got, it's got more in the mag than the Sleeper Simulant. does close to the Sleeper Simulant's damage. The Sleeper does more, obviously, but this does close. Uh, and, and it's just, it's so fast firing. It actually feels like it's had a buff because I was struggling. You'll see in this Nightfall that I, I was firing when I thought it would be in position, and it wasn't. I was firing before I, the, the enemy was even in my sights. It's crazy. So <clears throat> if you access the plate at the back above on the ramp, then you come down to this plate, then you go over the other plate, you get less adds. That's kind of how it works. By the time the first adds come at you, once you've cleared this room, you'll have got that second plate activated, just about. So, and that's how you do this. Uh, I always take these adds out from, like, I jump up here, go down to the left, and then I take the adds out from here. Because then I'm not in their sights. So it's just, it's, it's the way I've always done it. Now, you can go in there, I've done it before, plenty of times went in and just wiped them out. But sometimes, especially when you're unsure of your weapon loadout, you just resort to type. You you go back to what 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 you know. It's I basically took it back to basics with these strikes until I'm until I'm comfortable with the loadout. Until I've found my perfect loadout for each nightfall or each situation. Not so much the nightfall, more the situation. If I'm dealing with lots of shielded enemies, blah blah blah. So. The way, as, as you can see, it just absolutely decimated those ads straight off the bat with the with the scatter grenade. And it kind of, now, I've cleared this whole area in, in what, 5, 10 seconds? 5 seconds? So now I've got all this cover here to work with. And I even managed to take him out. Now, this is where you'll see one of those fallen... Uh, the, the, in Forsaken, you'll be given bounties to go and track down uh, fallen who have bounties on their head. There's one in here, but I don't know if it's going to work like this when Forsaken drops. But if you don't kill them within a couple of seconds of seeing them, they run away. And it's a big minotaur. There he is. Or or she. I'm not sexist whatsoever. Uh, male, uh, male or female... Uh, which, whichever gender they are, they're going to die. So where those two are here, right here, is, is your cutoff point. If you don't want it, if you, you clear all these ads at the front first, uh, and, then, and then you can move forward. Now, as you can see, again, I never got the kills with the Nova Bomb I was expecting. And, and it, the the thing the thing that the uh, the reason I, I I chose to use the Slova is you can pre-fire it because it takes so long to get there, and it tracks. But for whatever reason, it never took practically any of those ads out because there was quite a lot of them still up, including the Minotaurs. So, so the kind of the way it works is that pillar in front of us. That is, if you go past that, you'll access the next wave of ads. So it's worth finishing off this wave of ads first. Uh, pretty good grenade. I was happy with uh, because it's got a different uh, arc, a different thrown arc to the grenades I'm used to using, so it was a little bit confusing for me to start with. Uh, 
and as you and, and the other thing when you come down here as you can see you you access another group of goblins so just be mindful of that and as you can see i'm trying to be pretty systematic here and i was trying to not fire at that minotaur until until he was was ready to take damage but i forgot about those goblins behind me and nearly fell off the map it happens to the best of us guys so uh yep we're going to clear out all the ads before we move forward and i think i think there's still some minotaurs and then we're on to the boss battle now i'd never thought of doing void really before on this strike but i have to say it it, it pays dividends void is the way to go on this strike because of the amount of void shields now there are a lot i always went arc because of the amount of arc harpies and what have you that you've got here but really the enemies that do the most damage to you have got void shields so i had no issue with with the minotaurs because because i void on if you throw a grenade and you've got the slova section then the void ability kills cause explosions which are void so the way it was kind of working for me in the strike was I would throw a grenade or a, uh, my slova or my melee. Nearly died there because he came out a bit too fast for me. Uh, I would fire one of those. The kills then would, you know, the explosions from the minotaurs would cause a void explosion. My grenades would obviously do damage area effect. And then the explosions from the minotaur shields would do damage. And every other thing that died would cause a void explosion. So the chain the chain reaction of void with void syndrome. Now, I will I will grant anybody that says this, I understand this, that there is, I, I'm pretty sure we're not getting any singes in Forsaken. But because they were in, that it's a good chance they'll come back. And these things might be worth remembering. So, because we're using the tarantula, you play the, this end section, you play it as if you're using a sniper. Because it, the tarantula is basically a precision fusion, uh, linear fusion rifle. So we're going to try and get some hits off on him. I think I missed the second one. But because of its fast fire rate, I still managed to make up for it. So if I hadn't missed that, I, I never missed. He ducked below, I couldn't, I couldn't hit him. Point of principle there, I didn't miss. <laughs> So, yeah, if you can get four on them, you do some real damage. So as you can see, I'm using my, I'm using the Telesto to get the, I was using the Telesto there to get that kind of explosion. I think, I think if you get multi kills on it, it auto reloads it, and it's good for it is good for an area effect. Now as you can see, I'm red, right? When you're red, you don't you don't take chances. What we're going to do, and you'll see me do it a few times, is we wait for him to snipe so that I can proc my momentum. And if he hits me again, it's not going to kill me. The other thing about the Slova, the slow, which is the slow Nova bomb, for anybody that's wondering why I keep calling it a Slova, the slow Nova bomb, the melee, if you get the kill with the melee, it gives you about half your grenade energy straight back. So it is worth it. Now, as you can see, we're doing, we're, we are doing quite a bit of damage to him, but th there is a cutoff point. Do not take him below his last health bar while, while you're still having to access plates. Because if he goes below his last health bar, he will then go aggro. And if he goes aggro, you are looking at having a minotaur that will chase, but you can't damage. Not as much damage there again as I would have hoped for. But I think I took the Minotaur, so that's that's good. And the Telesto is just on this is really good. With Void Singe on, it's just it's just really, really good. So the first plate's clear. Now if I was to do this again, now because because I want to play and all the rest of it. And to be fair, there are nightfalls that you guys can see on my channel. So I have done these before. So if you want, if, if I was doing this again, I would save the, the Nova Bomb for here. And I'd put it over on the other side. Probably would do it a lot more damage. But we're lucky because we've got the Telesto. I'll use my Linear Fusion Rifle to take out the Minotaurs. Because one hit with it does enough damage that coupled with the explosion, it kills the Minotaurs. So as you can see, I actually came in here, sorry, before I say that, I actually came in here with the main ingredient and thought I'd use that. 
and promptly deleted it. I didn't like it in the first place because I'm not really a, a fusion rifle user in Crucible and it is it's just not very good for this stuff. It doesn't do enough damage. And I just again this fallout from the weapon changes, forgot the Telesto was an energy weapon. It happens. But uh, if you were coming in here with the, the Void Walker, I think it's a very strong class. As you can see, I, I haven't even used my Rift. You know, I, I very rarely do I use it. Uh, and you get a couple of hits off him there. As you see, I'll reload. And then we're going to hit him once in the head. And then stomach, stomach. And there you go. And that is the run on the Paramedium. As I said, the Paramedium drops the Silicon Neuroma, which is now a primary primary sniper. I think it has max max range, uh, just about max range and impact. It's about 80, 90, 90%. I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you do, leave it a like. Check out, check out my montage, and I will see you guys in the next video.